Serial designation J, the formerly entire sexy murder bot turned into, uh, half a murder bot. She's basically a melted pile from the waist up. I repeat, from the waist up. Sounds like it could still work. Only one way to find out, smash. Serial designation N. I like how the most likable character in the entire show is a murder bot. Did anyone else, after being on the horrible cesspit that is the internet for too long, wonder if the showrunners were about to make a horrible career-ending um. mistake of a joke when they heard his name? Yeah, me neither. Smash. Uzi. Does anyone else find Uzi's personality on the nose and abrasive? This is the exact type of self-aware, angsty, emo girl character I should like, but somehow everything about her gets on my nerves. Being meta doesn't automatically make you smart or funny, Uzi. It just means that you know you're writing something. Also, I think she's like 15, pass. Khan Dorman, the spineless father of Uzi Dorman, who didn't try to save his own daughter from a disassembly drone because the answer wasn't a big fucking metal door. Even if there's a funny joke about breaching his back doors, that deadbeat doesn't deserve the smash. Pass. Serial designation V, the only remaining woman murder bot. I mean, let's be real, they draw her as pretty appealing. The crushing force of that shiny metal ass, plus a streak of sadism that would be tracked by any competent police department. Sounds like my kind of girl. Smash. Fad. I don't know why they gave him a linebacker name like Fad, because he looks more like a Smelvin to me. Seriously, he looks like the Home Alone kid but made out of metal. Pass. Doll. Doll is honestly one of my favorite characters in the whole series. Mysterious, kind of goth, and for some reason is the only one that speaks Russian even though they're all on another planet and it's weird that all the robots speak English anyways, and is possessed by some sort of unknowable horror named the Absolute Solver. Then someone decided to take all these people toasters and put them in a high school, so I got a pass on this character to stay out of jail. Lizzie, a stereotypical mean girl with little more to her. I know a mean girl is supposed to be designed as vapid, but she's nothing more than mean and boring. Nothing behind those eyes is worth putting up with. Pass. Not yet a single biological naughty bit in the series, goddammit. Yeah, I guess I could use motor oil as lube. Wanna ask me if Pepsi is okay next, you big metal asshole? Tessa, the only reference to someone whose holes weren't repurposed from a pencil sharpener. We don't even get a good look at her. But because the rest of the naughty bits in this series lie somewhere between garbage disposal and credit card slot, I'm going with the fleshiest possible option. Smash. Absolute Solver. Some sort of Skynet ChatGPT AI that seems to be pulling the strings behind the murder bot worker drone conflict. While an unknowably complex, possibly world ending AI is really hot, without the physical form, I don't think I'd know where to stick it. However, the Absolute Solver's weird, unknowable centipede robotic hand critter, or GLaDOS from Portal, because I'm pretty sure we all know who this is really, has an entire room full of wiggly tentacles and vibrating robot bits. The slippery and slimiest form in the whole show. Sounds like a smash to me. See what I just did to all these murder bots? Imagine what I could do to a human that didn't like, comment, and subscribe with all notifications enabled. And watched all my other stuff. I wouldn't want to find out. Shout out the inner circle. Love y'all. <laughs>